Hi, Tiffany here with The Crafty Home, and I have a very large book haul for you. If you could see my desk right now, I have one, two, three, four, five, six stacks of books because I kind of broke them up, but, oh gosh, I forgot how many I just counted. 40-some. I think it was 46 books. Oh my. So let's get started because we have no time to waste. So the first stack I'm going to go with, since it's right in front of the camera, is, um, books that I won. And this is kind of like an August and September uh, book haul, I think. I think most of them are from August and September. So this is, I don't know if you can see them all, this is the stack of books that I won this month. And a bunch of them are uh, children's books. But the first one I won this off of a blog is Persuasion, Captain Wentworth, and Cracklin' Cornbread by Mary Jane Hathaway. This is a um, ARC and I have a clue what it's about. It was a giveaway and I wanted to win and it's Jane Austen takes the South. I love Jane Austen. I love the South so I figured it couldn't go wrong. So I have a clue what it's about but there you go. I'm gonna just throw this on the floor. So the next one is <laughs> DJ the Dop and the Doppelganger Chronicles. Um, and this is the Great Mogul Diamond. It's the third in the series, and it's by G.P. Taylor. G.P., yeah. And this is, um, like, middle grade uh, graphic novel. It's a Christian middle grade graphic novel, which is hard to find. So this is kind of some of the artwork. Um, and I love, like, these pages, or when they just do random things with the words. And then some is actual pictures, like this one is a, you know, an actual picture put into it. I just, I really liked the way these were. I've read them already, I borrowed them from the library. But, um, that was last year, but this year I decided that I would get them all, because I think my son will really enjoy them. So now we have the whole set, this was the last one I needed to get. Um, and they're, they're really good. Let's see, the next one, this is one I won off of a book likes giveaway. And this is Nick and Tesla's Super Cyborg Gadget Glove. A mystery with a blinking, beeping, voice recording gadget glove you can build yourself. So it's science and um, a story in one, which I think is is really awesome. It also came with a humongous poster. So I have a feeling once my son reads this, he'll probably want to hang it up. Um, I want to read it too. I think um, it was Liz over at Lizzie Books. Is it Lizzie Books? Lizzie Reads? I'm really sorry, I can't remember. But anyway, she uh, talked about these books. I think she, I didn't know that there was more in the series because this isn't the first one. So I'm, I'm probably gonna have to get the other ones after I read this. But it's kind of, it's not really a graphic novel, but it does have like comic-like pictures in it. Um, and I really like, see, there's more. And I really like how the like side has like this blue stuff. I don't know if you can see it, but I think it looks, like it'll be a fun book, so I'm excited to read this. Put the piece of paper back in it. Thud, you'd hear thud after every time I drop one. This is another one that I won off of uh, Goodreads, and this is Kids, Kid Presidents, True, not Goodreads, sorry, Book Likes, uh, better than Goodreads. Um, this is Kid Presidents, True Tales of Childhood from America's Presidents. So see, it has them. Like as children, but it's like how they look as adults, which I thought was really funny. It's like, it's like George Washington, I don't know if you can see that. George Washington as a kid, but, but he has an adult head. Or Barack Obama. I don't know. <laughs> it's really, really funny to me. Um, but it's supposed to be true stories from their childhood, and it has pictures, and um, yeah, I haven't read it yet. But I think that this will be really fun and a really great way... Um, for my kids to know more about the presidents and maybe relate to them a bit more as we're studying them, so I'm excited for this one. And the next one I won off of a blog giveaway, and I was super duper excited. Super duper, super duper. I was super duper excited um, to get this. It's a children's book, a middle grade book, and this is um, The Thickety, A Path Begins by J.A. White. And I have a feeling that this is a going to be a series. It's about a girl, the power of magic. I really entered the giveaway because the cover was pretty. <laughs> so I 
I don't know what the whole book's about, but it looks good. And in addition to this book, when they sent me, this is the book I won, and it was the only one I won, but they also sent me um, a piece of cake, oh, which my kids have kind of already loved on, but it's a just a children's picture book, and we love children's picture books around here. So, yeah, I thought that was really nice of them. Way to go, Harper Collins children, for sending me two. They sent it in a huge box, too. You would have thought I was getting something humongous. It was crazy. And then the next ones are all ones I want on a blog giveaway, and they're from Candlewick Press, which actually looks like a really interesting um, publishing company. And this one, let's see. So I got The Secret World of Walter Anderson by Hester Bass. And um, it's a biography. I don't know who this person is. Oh, that was in the back. So it has lots of pictures, which is cool. Just a little text. Reluctant readers will love this. And then, can you sell, I tell I used to sell children's books. Reluctant readers. Uh, anyway, uh, and this one is uh, Lady Liberty, a biography. So this is another one of their biographies, which is written much, oh, this one has Oh, all sorts of people from, oh, this looks interesting. Like people who came, ah, people who came through, came, immigrated to the U.S., it looks like. It looks really interesting, so there's that one. And uh, with that, I also got the Cosmo Biography of Sun Ra, The Sound of Joys and Lightning. So I think this is about a musician, and the pictures are really cool in it. I like that. And we got The History of Money, which I thought looked really good. Just, it's got a lot of info in it, but how, you know, how we came about, how, you know, we used to trade and how that all changed. So I think that this will be really interesting. I keep saying that. This will be really interesting. <laughs> this is Tuck Me In by Dean, by some people, and, uh, all the baby animals are ready for bread. Will you help tuck them in? You will. Great. Oh, do you actually get to tuck them in? Oh, we need to see this. I think you might. Oh, cute. It's time for bed. Who needs to be tucked in? I do. And then you pick this up and you tuck them in. I'm sorry, but that's cute. I have little kids. Good night, baby pig. Who needs to be tucked in? So you get to tuck in all these animals with their fun blankies really cute and the front like the blanket here is textured it's really nice and then this one is photo photos framed a fresh look at the world's most memorable photographs I think this is like for a little older I mean it's still like supposed to be a children's book but I think a little bit older oh so it, oh, neat so it has some famous photos and then like a blow up of this section and it asks you to like analyze it so it kind of teaches your kids how to um you know critically look at art and stuff oh it has some really cool pictures in here this looks like a really really good book and then um lastly from the books i won this is jubilee one man's big bold and very very loud celebration of peace by Alicia potter and this is about patrick sars Field Gilmore. Hmm. I don't know much about him, but it's a nice looking picture book, so that would be fun to read to the kids. Now, moving on, let's move on to books that we bought on vacation. We went um, to outdoor school for, it was for homeschooling families, we homeschool, and it was so much fun, but we had to go up the coast, and so we went to an aquarium that we don't normally get to go to, and to a science center. So that was really cool. And these are some books we found at the science center. One of my friends who lives up the coast, she said, um, aquarium's cool, but the science center's free, and if you have, well, it's donation, by donation, but you can just go for free. And if you have, um, if you have some money to spend, they have some good books for homeschooling and stuff. So um, we picked up some good some good ones so I'll show you this is Rascal this is a children's book um, it's a Newbery Honor Award by Sterling North 
and it's just an adventure story. My son loves adventure stories, so he should really enjoy that one. And then we got, so these are in a series, and I, I didn't realize that, and we need on the far side of the mountain, comes in between these two, and then have it. Um, so my son, you might be able to read them separately, but he likes to read things in order. But um, anyway, this is My Side of the Mountain, which is also a Newberry Honor book, and um, Frightful's Mountain. And it's the story of a young boy who um, explores the mountain. He used to live in New York City, and he runs away in the mountains to live by himself. And so it's the stories of his adventures with animals and surviving. So I know that my son will really enjoy these, and I have a feeling I will too. And then we got, these are kind of, I don't know, not what you typically see on booktube in a book haul. Um, we got the National Audubon Society's uh, Field Guide to Wild, Wild Flowers for the Western Region. No, we live in the Western Region, now you know. And uh, Field Guide to Birds. So we, um, as part of our school, we do a lot of nature walks. And so these will give us, they have pictures and everything, these will give us um, some guides to help us find out what wildflowers or birds we're seeing. Um, so, yeah, these should come in really handy. Next, uh, let's see, I'll talk about the books that I got off of Paper Book Swap. Um, I put a lot of my books, tends to be re copies I get for review that I may not have liked as much or don't see myself rereading, and a lot of times I'll put them on there, and then I get credit to buy another book, to get another book from a different user. So, if you didn't know how paperback swap works, now you do. Um, so this collection I've been saving for a while. I only got the third one in this, I think it's a trilogy. If there are more in this series, please let me know. Um, but I got all three through paperback swap. So the first is The City of Ember, uh, which, you know, was made into a motion picture. Oh. Well, it tells me right there, I am missing one. I'm missing uh, The Diamond of Darkhold, which looks like it's the last one. So I need to get that. Um, if you haven't seen the movie, you should see the movie. It's one of our favorites, although it's scary for the little kids. But it's a really good book. Um, kind of dystopian, weird. Anyway, so there's this one, and then there's The People of Sparks and The Prophet of Yarn, uh, Yarnwood, and that's the last one I got. And then, let's see, and then the other one I got from Paperback Swap is Lipstick in Afghanistan, a remarkable novel about an American nurse's life-changing journey into war. Um, so this one is one that I've been wanting to read for a long time, so I was excited to pick that up for free, and it's in, you know, great condition, so. All right, next. <laughs> next. Got so many piles here. Okay, this is ones that I've bought mostly from, um, booked up. Oh, golly, I am very sorry I just bumped you. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, you know, I'm probably going to leave that in just because I told you sorry for bumping you. Anyway, this is books I got from um, the book depository. And so let's get started because there's a few. Um, first is Delirium. I have read Delirium and I think I read Pandemonium. 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 I can say it right. <laughs> I think I read those, both of them. I borrowed them from the library, um, but I wanted to own them and I wanted to read them again. Now, I've watched a whole bunch of people do different tags and stuff and talk about, like, ones that they didn't like the way the series ended, and unfortunately this is one, so now I'm like, oh, I don't want to read Requiem, because it's probably bad. But anyway, so Delirium I want to read again, and Pandemonium... And then I also got the Delirium Stories, Hannah, Annabelle, and Raven in a, you know, combined volume. And I was really bummed that I didn't have Requiem and a cover like the other two that I got, but I settled for this one. And then when I saw this one, I was like, oh, I really like that one, but they didn't have it in the other two. So I just have to settle. So then I got Requiem. And then next is... Sorry, our... Door, door fell open, but we'll be okay. Next, I bought um, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I didn't own a copy of this, and I was really excited to get a copy. I really love these um, Penguin English Library editions. But I'm watching um, Frankenstein MD from the people who brought us the Lizzie Bennet Diaries and um, Ella 
Emma Approved, which I loved both of those series, uh, Lizzie Bennett more than Emma Approved, but this is their current workings. It's on, um, if you look for PBS Digital Studio, that's where they're putting it this time. Um, and they upload videos every Monday and, no, Tuesday and Friday. Tuesday, Friday? Yes, Tuesday and Friday, because the last, latest one went up today, and I think they're only on like 10 or 11, so you have time to catch up. Um, you know, it's like a modern day retelling of this, which is really fun. Um, I have never read the book though, so obviously everybody kind of knows the story of Frankenstein a little bit, but um, I'm excited to read it so that I understand more of the differences and nuances between what they're doing in film and what the book's actually about. Okay, I have to talk faster. If this book is a video, it's not going to be forever. Um, this is Messy Beautiful Love by Darlene Shatch. Sh I have no idea how to say her last name, but she blogs at um, The Time Warp Wife. And this um, is a book, Hope and Redemption for Real Life Marriages. I am very excited to read it. It's nonfiction. I pre-ordered it and got it as soon as it came out. This is, in case you didn't know, <laughs> Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I um, was tempted to buy the whole series because everybody raves about it, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy the first one and read it and then see if I like it first. I know. <gasps> what if I don't like it? I'll be like the only person on BookTube who doesn't like it. And then next is, um, my kids are really okay. They just want mama, if you hear them screaming in the background. Um, the next one I got is The Power of a Woman's Words by Sharon James, and I also got um, the study guide for it and um I bought these because she was gonna do a study online and send out emails but then she didn't end up doing it the same at the time that she thought she was because she had like I think her mom died or something so I'm still gonna read these and do the workbook because I my words I I really need to work on what I say to my family so I'm excited for those all right, so the next book I got um, from Book Depository is A Wild Cheap Sheep Chase by, I have heard everybody say his name so many times, I think it's Haruku Mirakami, I think. Um, and everybody raves about him, and so I thought I'd give him a shot, and I saw on somebody's video that this was what they recommended, and I think I even like Googled and Yahoo'd, and the consensus for most was this one, and it has a sheep on it. <laughs> I love sheep, although I don't know what they do to the poor sheep. Please tell me they don't hurt the sheep. Anyway, I'm really excited to read this um, eventually when I get around to it. Um, next book, it's kind of silly to put on a booktube video, but um, I'm interested to know what nonfiction books people buy, so you must be too. Um, I started selling um, Young Living Oils after a friend came over while we were sick and uh, gave me a lavender oil sample and I put some in my mouth and my nose like immediately cleared up and I was like oh my goodness it actually works so I'm excited to see if it'll help with uh, fibromyalgia and some of the other issues I deal with but anyway I got the quick reference guide for using essential oils and this corresponds with, with Young Living Oils so it's just a little quick reference and that'll help me um, help other people and then um, finally from Book Depository I got Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, and um, this is a special collector's edition that says Fangirl here. I really like this copy. I really hope I like the book. Oh, I didn't look inside. You've all probably seen this before, but it has like, what's that called? Gilding? I don't know. And a bookmark. And inside here includes exclusive emergency dance party poster. Oh, that'll come in handy for all the emergency dances I don't go to. Anyway, there's that inside. Uh, next, I'm going to talk about the books I've gotten for review, um, which most will be on my October Reads uh, video when I do that soon, my uh, October TBR. Um, this is Keepers of the Covenant by Lynn Austin. It's the second in her series, uh, The Restoration Chronicles. I read the first. Somebody has it. I've loaned it to a bunch of people because I loved it that much. I even bought a copy for my mother-in-law. Return to Me was the first one. So this is biblical historical fiction and very, very, very good. And I've already read a bunch of it. I just started it, so I'm excited about that one. Um, Too Loved to be Lost by Deborah M. Cody. This one is also for review and needs done. Um, 
she's a humorist and talks about life. It looked interesting and it's short, so it should be easy. Um, sorry. Next um, is, I did not, I thought that somewhere. Uh, sorry, the files got mixed up. Uh, this is Beside Beth Seda, 31 Days Toward Deeper Healing by Joni Erickson Tata. If, if you don't know who Joni Erickson Tata is, look her up. Uh, she was paralyzed in an accident when she was younger. Um, she does beautiful artwork that she does completely with her mouth, drawings and stuff, and she's an inspirational speaker. But she's wheel wheelchair bound, obviously, because she's paralyzed. And so it's um, certain books about her struggles and stuff. And so I'm excited about this one because... It's about healing. This is a Christian book, obviously. Well, or maybe not obviously to you. Um, but, but it's written from somebody who lives with physical limitations and debilitating stuff every day. So I'm excited to read her take on it. And it should be easy because it's just little, you know, daily like devotionals. So it should be simple to read. The next one I'm really excited about. Cue the Christmas music. Um, this one is Evergreen by Susan May Warren. I love Susan May Warren and I love her series, uh, the Christians, Christensen Family Series, and this is a Christensen Winter Novo Novella for those of us who are in love with her. And so this one shouldn't, I bet I read this in one night. Um, so I am really excited to read this one and write a review of it. Next one I got two copies of, so I get to do a giveaway. I don't know if I'll do it on my blog or on my YouTube channel. I haven't really done many on my YouTube channel, so maybe I will because well, that would be fun. Um, but anyway, this is the hardest piece, accepting grace in the accepting grace in the midst of life's hard, by Kara Tippett, and um, she has four kids, but she also has cancer, and so this is. Her story of how she is dealing with that so I'm really excited to read this and I know I'm probably gonna cry a billion times especially as a mom of four kids I will be able to relate and then the last of these I bought at my local bookstore well except for the top one um first one here 375 the practice of the presence of God with spiritual maxims by brother Lawrence I've heard a lot of people um, refer to this it's a classic in the Christian community and um, it was at the coffee shop that was at the camp that our outdoor school was at. Yes, they had a coffee shop, and it was heavenly. It was opened in the afternoons and in the mornings for all of us moms who were trudging through the day, getting to everything. Any, anyway, this um, was only three seventy five, so I had to pick it up. And let's see, next is Orphan Train, a novel by Christina Baker Klein, which I think will be really, really good. It's a New York Times bestseller. Um, about an orphan train. The cover was beautiful. It has some real pictures in the back. It just, it's historical fiction. Um, so I thought that this would be really interesting. Probably make me cry. And I bought uh, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. I liked this cover. It's just a puffin cover, but it's got both of them in there. So I, I've really always wanted to read this. So I love the cartoon. So anyway, I hope I enjoy that. Um, I bought Divergent by Veronica Roth. Um, I know everybody raves about it, but this is another one I thought, well, I'm going to buy the first, I'm going to read it, and then we'll see. So I bought it, and I know I need to read it soon. And then, um, obviously, I showed these in my wrap-up video, but um, these are the Lunar Chronicles that I finally got around to buying. And reading. So this is Cinder, and then there's Scarlet, and then there is Chris. So that ends my really big book haul. Are you tired? I'm tired. All right, well, that's all for now. Talk to you later. Bye!